Hello, it is mid-February and Meredith of Blaze Adventure Tours and I am in Roanoke, Virginia about to set off on the Triple Crown along the Appalachian Trail. The biggest challenges that we're expecting to face, we've got a fair amount of mileage to cover, maybe about 30 over the next three days. The biggest one though is the weather. It is already very cold this morning very windy they're expecting gusts over 40 miles per hour the next couple of days steady winds in the 20s lows also in the 20s of degrees so the weather will definitely keep things interesting for us we're gonna go ahead get started get warmed up and it's time to hit the trail Heading up towards Dragon's Tooth. The trail has been all uphill so far. Feeling nice and warm now after a cold start. Closing in on the top of Dragon's Tooth, there is a little bit of very light snow coming down. It's gotten a little bit scrambly here the last little bit, but we popped out to our biggest view of the trip so far as the snow continues to just barely barely come down it is starting to look a little bit toothy up here right at dragon's tooth looking out from the top of dragon's tooth it's windy up here, pretty cold, we won't stay too long, just drinking the view in. The top of Dragon's Tooth is a short spur, mildly challenging, a bit of scrambling, but nothing too crazy. What was a big surprise was seeing a southbound through hiker. We met a lady who was finishing off the Triple Crown by coming down through the IAT, the International AT, starting in Canada and hiking down through the winter so that was really impressive to see we're now on the at heading towards our next stop we did all that climbing now we're dropping right back down continuing along the at we have a little road crossing and I believe we've got to be at about the lowest point for the rest of the day, so we'll be climbing again. <laughs> the remains of an old mill on this creek. We've got some friends out here along the Appalachian Trail and there's a little baby laying down there in the grass. Looks like the trail is going to take us right through and up the meadow into the woods. We've hit a bit of a windy stretch up here on top. But the views are pretty. It's a pretty comfortable day when the wind's not blowing, but when it comes through, it gets chilly. Another road crossing, hopping across 311, and we are closing in on our goal of camp for the night. Home sweet home. Considering the absence of other backpackers and the presence of rambunctious winds, we very well may end up holding up inside the shelter tonight. Made it to John Spring Shelter. On this trip, we're using the Covington Allegheny Highlands Nat Geo Map number 788. Let's take a look at the map for day one. Starting from the Dragon's Tooth parking area, we took the spur up to the intersection to drop packs, hit Dragon's Tooth, and then 
follow the Appalachian Trail for the rest of the day up to John Spring Shelter. Day one was about 11 miles. Day one of our section hike along the Appalachian Trail has gotten our trip off to a great start. Dragon's Tooth was a highlight with the craggy rock formations and also the big view out from it. We made good time heading to camp. We're all set up. We're gonna get dinner in us and settle in for a relaxing evening. That'll be the end of day one. Good night. Good morning. We made it to day two of our backpacking adventure in Virginia. Had a cold night last night. The low was about 21 degrees, but we survived. <laughs> and it should only be warmer from here. Awesome day planned today. We should hit two more of the Triple Crown High Points. We're going to start out by hiking up to McAfee Knob and then bag Tinker Cliffs along the way as well. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes. We're ready to get warmed up by hitting the trail. The sun's morning rays are starting to melt this icicle array. Through the trees is another AT shelter. Made it up to the windy McAfee Knob. This is widely considered to be the best view in all of Virginia. And as a Virginian by birth, although a North Carolinian by the grace of God. It's high time that I made it to the number one point in VA. Down on the edge of the meadow in the trees is a whole herd of deer. We spooked them at first, but now they're just kind of slowly walking around down there and enjoying the day as it warms up and the sun hits us. Through the trees, another Appalachian Trail shelter. Following the Appalachian Trail along a knife edge ridge line, making our way towards Tinker Cliffs. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Heading down just to go right back up. Looking back on Carvin's Cove Reservoir, if everything goes according to plan, I'll be looping around that lake tomorrow. We've made it up to the third piece of the Triple Crown, Tanker Cliffs. It's turned into a beautiful day today, still a little windy, obviously, but comfortable temperature for staying moving with a pack on. We are closing in on camp for the night, heading towards the Lambert's Meadow area. Home sweet home. We made it down to the Lambert's Meadow area. Nice creekside camping. Although that big ridge to the left is going to block out the sun very soon on us. 
probably be a cold evening. We're gonna go ahead and get set up and get settled in. And up there is the Lambert Meadow Shelter. I gathered this water yesterday. It froze last night and did not melt the entire day of hiking. It gives you a feel for the ambient temperature out here. The Appalachian Trail is the longest hiking only footpath in the world stretching approximately 2,200 miles from Georgia to Maine. Camp's all set up. Meredith has her tent ready. I have my hammock ready. We've got a water source. Protect it a little bit from the wind. I think we're good to go. Let's take a look at the map for day two. From John Spring Shelter we continued along the Appalachian Trail, past McAfee Knob, and the Tinker Cliffs overlook to the Lambert Meadows area. Day two was about 10 miles. Day two of our backpacking adventure along the Appalachian Trail has been another great day. A bit chilly, but as long as we kept moving, it was comfortable, and we got to see two more great sites today, McAfee Knob, and Tinker Cliffs. We've got a relaxing campsite along the creek here at the Lambert Meadow area. We've got camp set up, getting dinner in us, and we're gonna settle in for a relaxing evening. That'll be the end of day two. Good night. Good morning. We made the day three of our backpacking adventure in Virginia. Last night was quite a bit warmer than the night before. The wind was raging, but fortunately for us, it was in the top of the trees and only a couple blasts from time to time would come through and hit us. We've got about 10 miles to head out today and we should see another highlight along the way, Hay Rock. And depending on how the view is from Hay Rock, we may end up calling this the quadruple crown. Time will tell, we're ready to hit the trail. A crystal blue day today. The sunshine is warming us up nicely along the Appalachian Trail. We found a mini McAfee's knob right off the trail. Looking out into very flat land. This may be Hay Rock, but we're not sure. You can see Carvin's Cove Reservoir through the trees. We're gonna go a little farther and see if something else looks more like Hay Rock. Or perhaps this is Hay Rock. We're not really sure. Drum roll please. We have arrived at the official Hay Rock. Some other cool rock structures that we obviously passed. This one has a pretty open view, especially during the winter time, of the Carvins Cove Reservoir. Just a bit down from Hay Rock, the view into the reservoir really opens up. Considering the total package of the big rock wall, Hay Rock itself, and this view, I think it's fair to call this a quadruple crown. Another view of the reservoir. The trail today is kind of looping us around, so we get to see it from multiple different angles. Alright Meredith. We've just finished up three days and 30 miles along the Appalachian Trail. How's the experience been? It's been awesome. We've had some of the most beautiful miles on the AT that I've ever hiked. We've had really kind of perfect weather considering it's February. We've met some really cool people along the way at the shelters and on the trail. And I just feel really lucky to be able to be out here and get to do this sort of thing.
I've been walking along the railroad. Finishing up our section of the Appalachian Trail. We've got a short spur out to the parking lot to finish off our trip. The Virginia Quadruple Crown done and dusted. Great adventure for us over the past three days. We got to see some awesome sights. Weather was pretty cooperative, a little chilly at times, a little windy at times, but we made it through those challenges. One of the coolest things about any AT hike is the people that you get to meet along the way. From my fellow Durhamites, Brett and Nate at the trailhead the night before the trip, to Dean and his crew at John Springs Shelter on the first night, to Bart and Zach and their gang at Lambert's Meadow at the second night, and everyone in between made for a good time with good people. Big thank you to Meredith for putting this trip together. If you're interested in doing an awesome adventure like this or a bicycling adventure, check out Blaze Adventure Tours. I'll drop a link in the description. Until next time, thanks for tuning in to Lane's World. Goodbye. Let's take a look at the map for day three. From Lambert's Meadow, we continued along the Appalachian Trail, past the Hay Rock Vista, down to the park and ride lot to finish off our trip. Day three was about 10 miles for a trip total of approximately 31 miles.